I'm Isaac Hernandez. And I'm Holly McClure. And this is Faith on Film, a program designed to keep you informed on everything that's happening in the world of faith and family entertainment. And boy, is there a lot of happening right now. Why is that, Holly? There is so much happening right now because we are at ICV and we're in Orlando, Florida, and we are here with international filmmakers, writers, screener producers, people from in the industry from all over the world. And it's been exciting. We're only it in day two been. and there's already a lot going on, hasn't there been? Oh, there has been. In fact, I don't know how many shows we're going to get out of this because there's a whole lot of film filmmakers that are walking around all over the place. Here. I mean, we met people from, there's people from, I think, Bulgaria. There's people from Brazil. They're, I mean, they're all over the world. That's the interesting thing is I've been to this conference for many years and the past two years or so, we haven't had any internationals because of COVID. COVID. So now that they can do it, they all decided to show up. So this has been the biggest conference yet. This is, I mean, we're setting a record in attendance. In fact, one of the gentlemen said, I'm from England. He goes, well, really, I think he said Bulgaria, Romania. He goes, but I had to come because of COVID. This is the first time I could come. So that is literally true. They were excited wow. to get here. In fact, isn't this the most that's ever attended yeah, ever? Yeah, record setter. Record setter, record over setter. 200 and something people. 200 35. Who came from all over the world, and again, they're submitting scripts to get their movies made. They're submitting documentaries. They're submitting movies they've already done, um, television series. I mean, it, it's the whole smorgasbord of entertainment, but it's all about faith and family and healthy entertainment, entertainment that all ages can see. And it's yes. not just PG, family-friendly, everything. There's some serious movies with there some are. serious yes. topics, and, and we've seen and discussed, but mm -hmm. that's what's good because isn't that what the Bible and the parables are all about, right. you know? The real stories, mm -hmm. the real people, and we get to have some fun, don't we? Okay. Oh, don't don't say too much of that because this is supposed to be work. Oh, we get to so. go see the <laughs> chosen. We get to go see the chosen. Season They're going to do a special three. screening for us here attending. We get to go see the chosen, and then we get to yeah. MC the Jesus Project movie that's coming out. I think in February. We get yes. to go be like the MCs, the host to you know introduce it. So kind of a big honor. We're very excited about all this, and we want to bring all this to you. So you know what? Let's just get to it, because there's just so much more to, to show here with all the people that we want to talk to. A lot of people to talk to, so let's go. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Harper. I'm here at ICVM. I'm uh, co-founder of Starfish Stories, and you're watching Faith on Film. Well, we are so excited, of course, that we are here at the uh, in Orlando at the ICVM Storytellers Conference. Now, I had you, this is Paul Sermons, the president of ICVM. I had you on the show of a few months ago with the, the one of the uh, submitters of, Jackson, of with, yeah. Yeah, from from China from China that was uh, which by the way is so exciting to see a lot of uh, I call them foreigners a lot of the the people from you know outside the country here yeah. this year cuz obviously they can do it now you know ICVM the first the I is for international so we're trying to get as much of that and we have we have people here from we have a guy here from a filmmaker from Ukraine and we know what's going on in Ukraine and our hearts are with him and he got up and spoke in his own language we have to have an interpreter about what's going on there with Christians and here's a Christian man from Ukraine Wow. Uh, talking about his people. I got so excited when we first started the interview that I really forgot to say, other than, hey, here's Paul Sermons, president of ICVM, but I forgot to say that you really have quite a history in uh, in filmmaking, in television, and, and movies, and my goodness, you're you're an icon. I've, I'm not an icon, <laughs> but I, I've made a living at it for 44 years. So. 44 years, wow. Yeah. So you started when you were five? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the things you've done? Uh, I... I uh, first TV series I worked on was The Waltons, which is the family TV series, the original Waltons. The original Waltons. Not the new movies that are on. Yeah, the Good Night John uh, Yeah, where, which we had the <laughs> young lady who plays Aaron. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Here at the conference, that was fun. Uh, and we had the original Aaron do a cell phone greeting to Tatum, oh, the actress wow. playing Aaron. So we had both generations of Aaron uh, right. there. It was quite special. Wow. But uh, The Waltons Quantum Leap was a series. Okay. I did the first two years of that as a first assistant director and uh, Sequest, a lot of one-hour dramatic TV mm -hmm. shows for 20 years, and then got into producing, directed one movie, which, taught, which actually went over very well, but it taught me that I probably wasn't a great director, I'm uh, more of a journeyman director, but I felt like I was really hmm. led towards producing, and that's what I've been doing since. I've produced, uh, oh, 10, 11 movies since oh. then. And the last two are on Netflix now, and they're, they're oh, family-friendly films. Is that so. the Teata? Teata, uh, which we did with the Chickasaw Nation mm -hmm. in Oklahoma, and also with the Chickasaw Nation, uh, Montfort Chickasaw Rancher. And it's a right. Western set in the 1800s. Yeah. 
but without any bad language and that sort of thing. Oh, that's good. Now, you've also done, of course, a Christian film that I know about. Uh, was it uh, Letters, Letters to God? Letters to God, I produced, and you know. uh, To Write Love on Her Arms. I oh, like that's right. I that. remember that so. one as well. Wow. And, of course, now you're with ICBM. And Home Run. Home Run is another Christian Home film, which we shot right. in that's Tulsa, right. Oklahoma. Yeah. Carol Matthews produced that. Oh, so great I told you, film. he is an icon. What are we talking <laughs> about here? So, now tell me, um, now that you're the president of ICBM, uh, what I mean is there something that I, I know that you've already kind of really expanded this is the biggest ICVM we've ever had uh, do you have some ideas in your head of where you want to go next well, or? I my ideas I feel like are coming from God because they're bigger than what okay. I can think of you know and and he put on my heart and I yeah. told the board that if I became president mm -hmm. I felt we needed to expand it yes. to reach out to more Christian filmmakers a tremendous number of Christian films, in fact, a tremendous number of all independent films, filmmakers make one movie and never make another, they're one and done, you know? Yeah. And why is that? It's because they're not good business people, mm -hmm. you know? They don't understand, you know, they, they, they think that one movie is going to launch their career. And in maybe a half of 1% wow. of the films made, it happens that mm -hmm. way, and that's what encouraged them to keep going. But if right. they settle back and said, okay, I don't have a film, I have a production company, and we have this movie and we're going to make more like it, then investors go, oh, you have a business model then, you know, mm -hmm. and that's that's something that's missing. So we're trying to 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 educate, you know, entertain, inspire In, Christian yes. filmmakers here, worship with them, net, create networks and relationships. Okay. Um, we have a scripted story pitch-a-thon where people, we have 11 distributors here, and people with a script or a story or a mm -hmm. book, they can go in and pitch to them one-on-one. -on -one. They choose the ones they want mm -hmm. to pitch to. They get to pitch one-on-one -on -one for five wow. minutes. You, they can't get to these people yeah, in right. Hollywood or right. wherever they're in Nashville, wherever their offices are, but they can get to them here. Yeah. And the next day, the final day, we have a Christian film market. And the Christian film market is for people with finished products. Finished product. And we have 18 distributors oh my goodness. that are looking for content. And deals are made every year at the mm -hmm. Christian film market. It's what you do. You go there, you meet with them, they, oh, they nice. license, they talk about it. it. But even if they don't, you have a relationship with a new distributor, you yeah. know, and that's yeah. going to help you as a filmmaker in the future. But you did something new also this year, which in fact is happening right, right now. now as we do this interview, and that is what? The, uh, the Investor's Lion's Den. It's wow. a great title, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and well, we partnered up with Lion's Den uh -huh. DFW, Dallas, out of Dallas. Okay. And they are a Christian business investment group. And wow. they have like 300 Christian investors. And they find good quality companies or, or startups start uh -huh. to invest in. But wow. they won't invest in an individual movie. You know, it has to be a, a presented as a business, as a business yeah. you know, and and so they are doing a three hour event here with us. They are taking three pitches from members that are mm -hmm. attending, you know, or people that are right. attending our conference and they're going to judge them and talk to them about what's right and wrong and whether it, and it could get learn. Learn. they could get investment, you know, wow. in the future from being here. But normally they they in Dallas. Uh, they do their own conference in April 19th, 20th, uh, uh, which people can go to as well. But they, wow. their investors look at all kinds of businesses. Here, it's film-related businesses. So you could have a production company, you could have a, a studio, a net streaming network, whatever, and if you're looking to expand, get bigger, Excellent. start up, you have a chance to pitch it to people that are interested in that. Great Christian so, hearts in them, too. It's, so it's like a Shark Tank. It, it is a Shark Tank. But we don't have Mr. Wonderful here. Right? It's Shark Tank, so, but we're not. It's not a TV show. Right, we, okay, and somebody's not going to say, you're dead to we, me. We have better than <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. We have Isaac here. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, I love what you're doing with uh, with ICVM, and if it's too late for people to come to ICVM right now because when this airs, this will be over. This but will there's be over. another one next year. There's now, another how do people one in November. Keep in the know. ICVM.com. Just go on there. You can you can uh, you can find us. We'll be putting that conference together. It's going to be in Nashville, Tennessee oh, yeah. next year. It will, I don't know the exact dates at the moment. It's in November. I know but that. But if they go to the website, they'll... Go to the website. You'll learn about it. We'll get information up on it. We're going to we're gonna plan it farther ahead than this one. <laughs> Some of these things came together a little late, but that's my fault. But we're, we're going to have more participation. And, and it's going to be... This is a record number of people yes. here uh, for our conference. Wow. 
now only two years after COVID. So wow. that's pretty amazing. That's fantastic. In 2023, we're going to have more filmmakers. I mentioned we have like 20 distributors here mm -hmm. on the Christian film market, or 18. We had five more show up that aren't even on that, oh, looking wow. for content. So of the people here, there's 25 so, people looking for content. So words getting out that this is where you this, find this the is, content. This is this bring your content here sense. if you're looking for district at any level. I mean, we have Sony Provident, we've got Pure Flix, we've got you know all the Christian you know big and small. We have Vision Video, BMG Global. Uh, uh, just tremendous companies. So that's true. Yeah, well, I know that as the president of ICVM, you're being pulled left and right and up and down and everything. So thank you for taking a little time and, thank and just. You. Uh, yeah, you I, know, I, I saw you there. Like you were just standing for just a brief second. I'm like, let me pull him right now. I, yeah, and I said, I have to take one picture yeah, just, before I go. <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Keep up the good work. Great show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brandon Sports. I'm an actor, director, writer. I've been in films such as Stealing the Show and TV shows like Fragment. And you're watching Faith on Film. Okay, with me are three guys that kind of saw them walking around, talking, telling what they did. And I got so excited because we realized this is a future again of filmmaking and a next generation that's taking the torch and going a complete different way with it, but in an exciting way. With me are the Wild Brothers. Let's introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Keen Wild. Yeah, I'm Asher Wild. Hey everybody. Hey, I'm Hudson Wild. Okay, so you guys got an idea to do what? Quick pitch. What's your? What is it you're talking about here? Yeah, so guys, we're the Wild Brothers. We grew up over in Southeast Asia as missionary kids. And so the remotest parts of the world working with an unreached people group. And so over there in the jungle we got to go on a lot of really cool adventures. Discovering insects are new science, tracking down cryptic creatures, even dabbling a little bit of archaeology. And so as we're doing mission works and going on all these adventures, we took along our cameras and we filmed them. We turned them into video series so that we could show our audience here in the States about, man, what mission life is like and to get you guys excited about following Christ. Because that's really the most important thing to do with your life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so each of you tell a little bit about it. So what are you pitching? You're pitching the show? Is it a finished show or are you got a first yeah, so pilot? We've had multiple video resources in the past. Right here at the ICVM, we're pitching our documentary that we made called Islands of the Four Teens. This is an adventure documentary we produced about tracking down some of the last um, ancient remains of people groups in Southeast Asia. We're also here to pitch our new TV show called Off the Couch in Creation. We have a pilot episode and we're here at the ICVM making connections with distributors to um, hopefully show it on their distribution platforms. Yeah, we're really excited about this new show because unlike all of our old series where we filmed overseas in Indonesia, this is our first TV series with the Wow Brothers in America. That's going to be super relatable for all of our fans here in the U.S. And we're excited because the four Wow Brothers have grown up overseas in the jungle and have never really experienced their homeland. So we're coming back to the U.S. experiencing our homeland for the first time, seeing God's beautiful creation. And um, yeah, it's going to be a super cool, exciting show. So like Asher said, we've, we're finished with the first pilot episode. We're super stoked about finishing the rest. Yeah. Okay, so are you the only kids in your family or do you have other siblings? Yes, our oldest brother Morgan can't be here. He just became uh, a dad a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So he's, he's busy at home, exciting. but we're representing for him. You're representing, okay, and your name really is Wild. Absolutely. Correct. It yeah. really is Wild, yeah. so the Wild yeah. Brothers. Uh -huh. So you've had fun with that, huh? Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Especially Absolutely. with doing this. So how exciting is this for you? Are you homeschooled? Are you in school? Do you have peers that are like, wow, um, what are you guys yeah. doing? Yeah, we, we grew up as homeschoolers. I mean, we were out super far from under Stone Age culture, so there was no public school. So my mom homeschooled us, but yeah, now we're all in college. So that's part of the reason why we're here in the States is to get our education. But alongside that, we're um, furthering our business and video production skills. So what college are you going to? Uh, Boys College, Southern Seminary's undergraduate school. So it's like Bible college. Yeah. All yeah. right. And is there a film production there or any kind of thing that has to do? No. So you yeah. just are already doing it on your own? Yeah, yes. correct. Well, this is exciting. Okay. Into the camera. Each of you give your advice for people your age sure. wanting to get in the film business or having an mm -hmm. idea, you know, thinking that they've got a dream of something they want to do, but they don't know how to do it. Just quick advice or a word that you want to give to your generation. Yeah. So guys, for, for Christian filmmaking, this is a super cool industry. And I feel like there's so much room to grow, so much room to go. And really, for young people, man, that's what our peers are going to be looking at. They're going to be seeing what Christians are doing on the film for young people. And so guys, make sure that your messages are good. Let's make movies and TV shows and products that really glorify Christ. We only have one life to live. We're young. So man, let's live our lives all for Christ. That's the only thing that's worth doing. So make sure to make your messages clear, good, and always point to Christ and not ourselves. And I would just add, yeah, use discernment. As believers, God's given us many different gifts and talents. We're not all supposed to be filmmakers. Sometimes following our dreams is not what the Lord would have for us. So be discerning. Where is the Lord leading you? What talents has He given you? His resources. Discern that. And if the Lord has you in film, go all out. Follow it as hard as you can. Work hard for the Lord. Because that's really what it's all about. 
Yeah, and then I would just add one last thing. Make connections, be creative, but ultimately before all of that, commit it to prayer, commit it to Christ first, as he owns the sheep on a thousand hills, and so he can make your project work. So commit it to him beforehand, and if he wants to do it, it's going to happen. So get ready for an awesome ride with the Lord. I love that word. Yeah. And what ultimately, is there a thing you want to make or want to do that you haven't done yet, a film that you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, yes. we do. Okay. So for the longest time, we want to do the, um, a really awesome documentary about the story of the trial people we worked with. Guys, the Lord is doing amazing things around the world to bring people to Him. And the story of the, the people we worked with is just incredible. And so we really want to do a documentary that kind of shows that story, shows the amazing thing that the, thing that the Lord has done, and really get people excited about using their lives for missions. Yeah, so a theatrical release for that. But living over in a very remote part of the world, there's all kinds of exciting things that we have discovered or have leads on, things like discovering dinosaurs and other mysterious animals and ancient artifacts so there's a lot of dreams in the pipeline but it'll be a couple years before all that becomes a reality yeah i'm so excited to meet you guys thank you for coming on faith on thank film you. and we are going to pray for you and want the best and i can't wait to see what you do in the future and remember you did the interview here so that when you're famous we can go hey i interviewed them when okay <laughs> appreciate the interview thank thank you bless you guys, guys. Yeah. bless you bless thank you guys. isaac back to you Hi, I'm Cristobal Cruz, and I'm the writer, director, and now an actor of Let Me Have My Son and other movies, and you are watching Faith on Film. Well, we're here right now uh, with a friend of mine that I met, I don't even remember how many years ago. About but, uh, 10 years ago. Was it 10 years ago? Yeah. Was it at another conference? Yeah. And uh, I remember we talked about something that I was doing that kind of excited you, and that was a dance club, a Christ Christian <laughs> dance club. Yeah. We no longer are doing that, but yeah. it really did help. It launched our youth ministry, actually, at good, our good, church. Good, 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 good. Uh, but I didn't realize you were such a great filmmaker. You recently produced a film that, in fact, we had uh, the main star of the movie uh, on the show already, T.C. Stallings. But you're the producer of... No vacancy. No vacancy. Yeah. It's a true story. Um, it's based on a true story of my church. We had uh, the Channel 9 mm -hmm. ABC affiliate had come over several times to act, do actual stories. Our church actually bought a hotel, motel, right. to take care of homeless families during the Great Recession. And so the movie stars Sean Young, who was in Blade Runner and Doom, uh, T.C. Stallings, obviously mm -hmm. a lot of people know him, and then Dean Kane, he's been in a lot of Christian films Dean, as yeah. well. And we did a Fathom release in May, and now we'll be going on streaming platforms next month. And then on Christmas Eve, it'll be doing a premiere on uh, wow. Pure Flix, So, Oh, nice. Now, how can people kind of stay aware of it, follow it? I mean, is there a website they can go to? Yeah, just go to kingstonestudios.com. And we were primarily, for years, have been a comics publisher. We, were, we published the most complete graphic adaptation of scripture that's ever been done. We hired about 40, 44 artists that all work for Marvel and DC. And they, we've created this three-volume graphic novel, which is a key product. We have a lot of other Christian mm -hmm. comics, and then we have some educational comics. And now we're working on film and animation. So they go to kingstonestudios.com. Uh, they sign up, be on our email list, and keep up with everything that's, that's happening. I remember your comic book series also because yeah. when I was uh, to get you know, with Uplift TV, yes. we, were, we were doing promos. You promo were selling them. Yes. 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 I hope we sold a lot of them. You did well. <laughs> you did well. You did well. Now, now um, what are you doing here at, uh, at, at Storytellers? Yeah. Well, t uh, two things. I will be doing, well, three things, actually. One, uh, today we'll be doing a presentation for the Shark Tank uh, okay, event. Right. And then tomorrow will be one of the tables, uh, Director Kyle, Seller, uh, Kyle Sailors, you know him. He'll be mm -hmm. at the table with me. And we'll be listing the pitches from aspiring filmmakers and storytellers. And then Saturday, um, I think the No Vacancy is up. Uh, potentially for some awards so hopefully we hear our name called <laughs> we oh. hope. so we'll see yeah. whatever the Lord has we're, we just trust the Lord we roll with him absolutely um, now maybe you mentioned the, the the shark tank style thing yeah what is what is that exactly because this is the first time we're doing it here at ICPM yeah, it's the first time well you know when you have a, a media company you have to raise capital <laughs> you just have you know or if you're a minister you have to raise capital and uh, so they had uh, Paul Sermons who's um, the president of ICBM he called me and said hey I just thought God told me to call you this mm -hmm. is coming up he said are you looking for capital I said actually we are because we're working on doing some Bible animation some other animation right. we're looking at and so he says, and so we went through the process, presented, so we were one of the three uh, selected present today. We'll see how it goes. 
Fantastic. Well, again, the movie is No, no Vacancy, vacancy. Yes. and they can watch it. Uh, they'll be able to watch it on streaming platforms. Yeah, they can actually stream it now at KingstonStudios.com, but it'll be right. on Apple TV, Google TV, Vudu, Amazon um, in December. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time. Isaac. I know there's a lot going on here at the conference, yeah. and uh, but I saw you, and I'm like, i got to pull them over. And I'm proud of you for losing so much weight. You oh, look so good, thank man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, moving to Texas has been very, very good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, brother. God All bless right. you, man. Paul, thank you. Hi, I'm Maggie Riffler. I'm a board member for ICDM, and you're watching Faith on Film. With me are friends that I've made here at ICVM, and I love these guys. They're friends from Lure TV. Introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Marcus Pittman. I'm the CEO of Lure TV. And I'm Jason Farley. I'm the Chief Content Officer at Lure TV. And let's spell Lure TV. L-O-O-R. Okay, and where can people find it? L-O-O-R dot TV. It was that simple. There you go. <laughs> right. Okay, now, you guys are unique in your approach at this conference, I feel, and what you're looking for in content. And tell kind of your unique approach to entertainment these days and what you're doing. Well, we're trying to uh, build up the areas of the market that are currently underserved. So we're looking for content for men, for the 18 to 24 year old, uh, 18 to 35 year old men and uh, their sons because uh, currently there's not anyone developing that kind of content and we want to show that there's a market for it. And why is there just a market? Go ahead. Why is there just a market for? for we're just men. Like, like, why is this that you're focusing well, because, on it? Because uh, the Christian movie industry was formed because they had to sell movies by DVD and VHS. Uh, and the only way, way they could get that retail shelf space was Lifeway Christian bookstores, family Christian bookstores. And that target shopper is a woman. Um, so the entire Christian media industry, whether it's music to film, has always been for soccer moms. Um, and there hasn't really been a push for male-driven content. But now that everything's moving to streaming, men are the majority consumer for streaming. Uh, so it opens up a real opportunity to finally make masculine Christian entertainment. Okay, I love the idea, the concept. That is so unique. No, really yeah. it is. It's unique. Yeah. You're different from anybody here yeah. on what they're doing. Yeah. Our tagline to. is Christian movies shouldn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that tagline. I agree with that tagline. Yeah, we're, 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 try, we're, we're trying to build what, what the MTV, Adult Swim, HBO version of Christian media is. And I don't mean that in the, in the uh, immorality of it, but in the fact that they built a plot, an independent platform that focused on giving artists freedom to make what they want and not having the network send notes about, I mean, now it's like diversity, all your requirements, stuff like that. Within Christian film, it's, you know, whether or not a character can have a beer or not, or those sort of things, which don't really make any sense. Uh, so we're, we, we just tell our artists, uh, love God and make what you want. Oh, I love that. So, and have you found some unique things here yeah. at ICVM? We've found, found some incredibly unique things that we can't wait to announce <laughs> um, that are going to uh, surprise the world. And um, both some, some great stuff in the horror genre, some great stuff in... Uh, Science fiction. Science fiction, boy-aimed uh, children's shows. Uh, and uh, we're especially excited about uh, seeing some of the teenage filmmakers here that are, uh, that are getting started early. We want to create the kind of space where a, a teenager uh, can say, I can, I can get onto that sort of platform. We, we, we believe uh, that homeschooled kids are way smarter than college educated kids. <laughs> so it would bring us a lot of joy to, we, want, we, we feel like we, we should be signing teenage homeschool kids to big film contracts. And I think they're capable. And there's talent here that we're hoping to do that. And so let's create that art house. Let's create that thing that says, hey, here's a 17 year old. He's made this demo reel. Would you trust them with 50 grand to take it to the next level? And the audience on our platform gets to decide that and gets to vote. So our, our audience are the Hollywood executives that determine the content that streams on the platform. And that and, is unique in itself, yeah. a little bit different. So yeah. That's unique, just of itself, and different the way you guys are doing it. Right. The content, the way you're streaming it. So basically, are, is it if people go to lure.com, 
right, or Lure TV? Lure.tv. Lure. 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 I said it wrong. Lure.tv. Lure.tv. <laughs> if they go there, then they're invited to join and be participate, and then they're going to be part of the ones that are looking at that material. Yeah, right now there's an email list. So you sign up. That's our waiting list to, to join once we launch. And the okay. plan is that we'll be launching first quarter of uh, this year. Okay. 2023. 2023? So. Yeah. We'll be right. Well, that is great. I'm excited. Can, can I mention one, yes. one TV and, and show? Yes, and to the camera. Mention yeah. what you want. Okay, so we have a cartoon series that we, we signed at ICVM last year, uh, and it, a guy came to us with uh, just on a napkin because he didn't think, he was told nobody would like this idea, but he saw, he thought, well, maybe it's a chance for them. It's uh, it's called Barely Biblical. It's an animated cartoon series where uh, animated uh, teddy bears reenact the most violent Old Testament Bible stories. It's for eight-year-old sons who like to play with guns and swords and uh, it, and, and, their, and their fathers. Uh, it's it's fantastic. Um, and that, we actually got the pilot in and uh, we're looking forward to, uh, that'll be one of our launch titles. And it so. doesn't suck. It doesn't <laughs> suck. It is really good. So. Okay, I do want to kind of, one more comment on that. Because... I think that's an area that has been so highly neglected over the year. First of all, horror, thriller, that genre, yeah. especially the horror, and sci-fi. I mean, there's right. been a few things apocalyptic out. Okay, we've had a lot of those apocalyptic movies, but the other edge of it, like what you're just the edgy stuff and doing it, and it's okay right now, right? Yeah. That's where right. it should yeah. be heading. Right. Yeah. You can talk. Yeah, the, the, uh, the formation of our imagination is a major way that God transforms us into who he intends us to be because so many failures of faith begin as failures of the imagination and so the kinds of stories that form what we believe to be possible end up forming what kind of faith we can have and so we want the stories uh, the, the world does this really well with sci-fi but it's a way that tamps down our faith that makes things seem impossible but we want to we want the kind of content that forms our imagination towards faith. And if we're not the ones making sci-fi, somebody else is going to be, and it's going to, uh, everything is faith-based. It's just a question of which faith. And so building the kinds of, the, the kind of system that can create the stories uh, that are based on the faith so that Christians can work in every genre is the way that the imagination can be hopefully fully formed towards faith and hope and love in the way that it's currently not being formed. And if you look at the box office, and in the last few years, well, really 10, the Marvel, the DC Universe, but look at Avatar, it's getting ready to come out. And I mean, I remember when the first Avatar came out, because I was a film critic and was reviewing movies, and I remember people actually, there was actually suicides, Google and look it up, because people were so sad that there wasn't a place like that that they could go live in. They actually committed suicide because so they were so into it. So if a movie can move someone so depressed to do that, what's more, what better way with the sci-fi and to get that demographic and that mentality to want to go, okay, there's hope, and yet do it in that creative way to get that audience. Right, but a movie that doesn't push us towards Gnostic despair the way that Avatar did, but pushes us towards the kind of hope that uh, exists within, within the real world that God made, um, which that was not it. That's right. That's right. But it's, so I'm saying it's already been a trend in the world, in the box office. We just got to catch up. So thanks, guys. I'm hoping you'll do just that. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steph Gartz. I'm a film producer. I work in the music industry. And you're watching Faith on Film. We hope you have enjoyed hearing from these great filmmakers that attended the ICVM Storytellers Conference. There were so many of them that we spoke to, and we want to bring them all to you. So there will be several of these shows dedicated to the Storytellers Conference. Also, if you're watching this show and you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, we'd like to invite you to do so. We want you to be a part of the Faith on Film TV family. You can also write us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. And follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. Well, until next week, take care.